Sean Henry. I'm Chris Ayers on Tuesday, September 26th. Today is a B-Day. The SAT word of the day is inviolable, which means you're secure from assault of trespass. And now for the weather, presented by Taylor Ketchin. Taylor, why is it so dang hot out today? Thanks, guys. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 83. Hey, Danny, what did the air conditioning say to the man? I don't know. I'm your biggest fan. Now, back to you, Vlon. Thanks, Tay. Attention, middle schoolers. As you continue to reach our goal of $1,000 for the Water for Sudan organization, please remember to place only clean, empty plastic bottles and cans in the green recycling receptacles. They are not garbage pails. The Under the Lights football game will be Thursday, September 28th at 7 p.m. Be sure to come support the boys under the bright lights. Attention all high schools. Spirit Week is rapidly approaching. The first Monday of October is color work. Seniors wear black, juniors wear white, sophomore wear blue, and freshmen wear green. To all student drivers and high school students, the next teen driving affair meeting will be at Arlington High School, October 4th at 6.15 p.m. You must go if you want to drive on school grounds and getting parking permit. Any student who is driving with a parking permit now and did not attend the teen driving affair on September 12th will lose. The second annual Dover Dragon Dash is taking place on September 30th at Boyce Park. Sign up online at DoverPlainsRunningClub.com if you want to attend. Any seniors that would like assistance with their common application, please sign up in the guidance office for the workshop that will be held on Wednesday, September 27th, periods 5 and 7 in the College and Career Room. Please sign up during your free period. Attention all freshmen. You are invited to a youth rally on October 5th. This will take place during the school day at Dutchess Stadium. There will be a bus departing from the high school at 7.30 and returning about 2 p.m. In order to attend, you will need to hand the permission form and pink and blues to Ms. Krieger by today. You can find the permission Z5J7BL. If you need more information, please see Ms. Krieger. Don't forget that PSAT money is due on Wednesday, October 4th. The cost of the test is $16. Stop by the guidance office with any questions. High schoolers, we have a representative from Mount St. Mary coming today, and then after that, a representative from the College of St. Rose on the 29th. Both will be in the College and Careers Room across from the lunchroom. Attention all middle school students, watch out. Teachers are on the lookout for kids doing the right thing. Teachers will be handing out papers if they catch you, but be careful. If you point it out and ask, you will not receive one. Bring your paper to the middle school office to be placed in a monthly rally. Raffle. Places, <laughs> prizes include McDonald's, ice cream, pizza, or any fun reward we can think of. Let's see how many kids we can catch being nice. Youth group volunteers water for the AWASA program at Dover First Baptist Church in Wingdale. Programs run Friday night from 6.15 to 8.45 from September 29th through April. Please contact the Community Service Office for more information. Attention all juniors and seniors. The girls' powder puff football game is this Friday. If you haven't signed up already, please do so immediately. Even if you do not want to play, you can watch and support your friends. Youth for Diversity will be holding its first meeting after school on Thursday, September 28th, in the College and Careers Room, across from the dining hall. We are proud to announce that your Youth for Diversity Club will also be the school's Gay Straight Alliance for the building. We welcome all students to attend and hope to see you there. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. Kozlowski in the counseling office. And in today's news, brought to you by Newzella, victims in Mexico are still recovering from the earthquake. Citizens have united while trying to bring food, water, and other supplies to the rest of the population. Since Mexico City consists of collapsed buildings and ruins, they are still trying to find victims of the earthquake. A very happy birthday today to Alexia Acevedo Nelson and Katie Petrie. And, and on, on that, that note, have, have a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Dover. Dover. And don't forget to like our Facebook page for latest information and more video alerts. <laughs>
Amber Bosser came in with the win, the winning goal from outside the box. Great job, ladies. Not only did our varsity girls soccer team come home with a win on Friday the 15th, our varsity boys dominated Millbrook 5-0. Cal Hayde, Mitchell Ibera, Romero Pasquale, Stephen Cayoni, and Anthony DeRosa all got a goal, only leading us closer and closer to safe. So, wow, what does it mean to be a senior on the varsity soccer team? Um, it's great. There's nothing like school soccer. And the varsity cross-country team had a meet at Bear Mountain State Park against 83 schools and 1,800 students. Heaven Swan came in 35th out of 157 girls with a time of 21 minutes and 41 seconds. Heaven Packard came in 31st out of 151 boys with a time of 17 minutes and 33 seconds. Dan Packard shortly following behind his brother with a time of 18 minutes and 26 seconds. Keep up the good work, guys. On the 18th, our girls varsity soccer team and our boys varsity soccer team both put up a great fight against Back and Kill and Millbrook but our varsity boys soccer team came back and better than ever on the Tuesday, the 19th, taking the win against John A. Coleman, two to one. Romero Pasquale had the winning goal. Congratulations, boys. So, Maria, what does it mean being a varsity soccer team? Uh, it's a completely different experience from all the other teams I've been on. You know, I like all the guys. They're all different, always making jokes, and then when it comes to game time, we're all serious. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Heaven Swan came out first out of 26 girls at our varsity cross country meet at Rhinebeck with a time of tw 24 minutes and 22 seconds. Overall, our girls team won first place. Way to go, girls. On Wednesday, September 20th, the varsity girls volleyball team took on Antiora and brought home a win. Three to zero. Taylor Ketchum had eight aces, one block. Ariana Ball had two blocks and one assist. Great job, ladies. So, Mrs. Smith, how do you think the rest of your volleyball season is going to go? Well, Anthony, that's very nice of you to ask. I think the rest of our season is going to go great. We've had a rough start to the season, but we've played some really competitive teams. And I think we're going to get a lot of wins going forward. Go Dragons Volleyball. Thank you. <laughs> our varsity girls soccer team took on the Pauling Tigers on Friday the 21st and won 2-0. Kiara Cardiello made both goals. Great job, girls. What? So, what are your goals as a team this year? Um, probably to get the sectionals this year again. The varsity football team put up a great fight against the Millbrook Blazers this past Saturday. So Christian, do you think the Dover Dragons football team is improving? Uh, I believe that we are slowly improving, but uh, if we just keep working hard and all that, we will eventually hit our goal. Alright, thank you. This coming week there is so much going on. Tuesday there is a varsity volleyball game versus Weaver Tech and a cross country meet at Millbrook. Wednesday there is a varsity boys soccer game versus Back and Kill and a varsity golf match versus Spack and Kill. Thursday, Thursday's pack, there is a varsity volleyball game versus Antiora, a varsity girls soccer game at Antiora, and an under the lights home game versus Antiora at seven. Friday, there is a varsity cheerleading youth group clinic and powder puff football game. Come watch our senior girls take on the junior girls in flag football. Hope to see you all there supporting each and every team. And that was your ESDN sports recap. Perfect. <laughs>